El Salvador, officially the city of El Salvador, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa El Salvador, Filipino, Lungsod ng El Salvador, or simply referred to as El Salvador City is a sixth-class city in the province of Misamis Oriental, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 50,204 people. The city serves as a pilgrimage site for Divine Mercy devotees, that is why it is also called the City of the Savior, City of Mercy, and the Divine Mercy City of the Philippines. Geography El Salvador is located in the province of Misamis Oriental in northern Mindanao, Region 10. It is bordered by the municipality of Alubajid to the west, Opol to the east and Mantisao and Naawan to the south. On the north, lies Makajalar Bay of the Bohol Sea. Barangays Administratively, El Salvador is subdivided into 15 barangays. One forms the center of the city, Poblacion, whereas the other 14 are in the outlying areas. Some of them are even several kilometers away from the center of the city. History El Salvador was created from the barrios of El Salvador and Molugan with their sitios known as Sala, Sambulawan, Sinaloc, Lagtang, Talaba, Calabaylabay and Hinigdon, formerly part of Cagayan de Misamis, Misamis Oriental. In 1948, Hinigdon was a ranch during the Spanish periods the areas covers the parts of Calabaylabay where the Jangos have 300 hectares of land and hundreds of cows. The area was famous of cattle ranching towards the areas of Tugasnan Alubajid to Lourdes where the first municipal municipality was located now transferred to Alubajid and Sikidan of Gitagam Misamis Oriental. During the 11th Congress 1998 Congress enacted into law 33 bills converting 33 municipalities into cities. However, Congress did not act on a further 24 bills converting 24 other municipalities into cities. During the 12th Congress 2001 to 2004, Congress enacted into law Republic Act No. 9009, RA 9009, which took effect on 30 June 2001. RA 9009 amended Section 450 of the Local Government Code by increasing the annual income requirement for conversion of a municipality into a city from 20 million pesos to 100 million pesos. The rationale for the amendment was to restrain, in the words of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, the mad rush of municipalities to convert into cities solely to secure a larger share in the internal revenue allotment despite the fact that they are incapable of fiscal independence. After RA 9009 went into effect, the House of Representatives of the 12th Congress adopted Joint Resolution No. 29, which sought to exempt from the 100 million pesos income requirement in RA 9009 the 24 municipalities whose cityhood bills were not approved in the 11th Congress. However, the 12th Congress ended without the Senate having approved Joint Resolution No. 29. During the 13th Congress 2004 to 2007, the House of Representatives re-adopted former Joint Resolution No. 29 as Joint Resolution No. 1 and forwarded it to the Senate for approval. However, the Senate again failed to approve the Joint Resolution. Following the suggestion of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, Senate President, 16 municipalities filed, through their respective sponsors, individual cityhood bills. The 16 cityhood bills each contained a common provision exempting it from the 100 million pesos income requirement of RA 9009. Exemption from Republic Act No. 9009 the city of XXX shall be exempted from the income requirement prescribed under Republic Act No. 9009. On the 22nd of December 2006, the House of Representatives approved the cityhood bills. The Senate also approved the cityhood bills in February 2007, except that of Naga, Cebu which was passed on 7 June 2007. These cityhood bills lapsed into law on various dates from March to July 2007 after President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo failed to sign them. 
The point of law at issue in 2007 was whether there had been a breach of Section 10, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which provides, no province, city, municipality, or barangay shall be created, divided, merged, abolished or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria established in the local government code and subject to approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite in the political units directly affected and in each case the established criteria were far from met. In November 2008, El Salvador and 15 other cities lost their cityhood after the Supreme Court of the Philippines granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines, and declared unconstitutional the cityhood law RA 9876, which had allowed the town to acquire its city status. The Supreme Court ruled that they did not pass the requirements for cityhood. On the 10th of December 2008, the 16 cities affected acting together filed a motion for reconsideration with the Supreme Court. More than a year later, on the 22nd of December 2009, acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood is set by Congress is no different from the enactment of a law i.e., the cityhood laws specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. Congress, in enacting the exempting law s, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. Accordingly cityhood status was restored. But on 27 August 2010, the 16 cities lost their city status again, after the Supreme Court voted 7-6, with two justices not taking part, to reinstate the 2008 decision declaring as unconstitutional the Republic Acts that converted the 16 municipalities into cities. A previous law required towns aspiring to become cities to earn at least 100 million pesos annually, which none of the 16 did. On the 15th of February 2011, the Supreme Court made another volt face and upheld for the third time the cityhood of 16 towns in the Philippines. Finally, on the 12th of April 2011, the Supreme Court, in an en banc ruling delivered in Baguio City, affirmed the finality of the constitutionality of the 16 cityhood laws by resolving that. We should not ever lose sight of the fact that the 16 cities covered by the cityhood laws not only had conversion bills pending during the 11th Congress, but have also complied with the requirements of the LGC prescribed prior to its amendment by R.A. Number 9009. Congress undeniably gave these cities all the considerations that justice and fair play demanded. Hence, this court should do no less by stamping its imprimatur to the clear and unmistakable legislative intent and by duly recognizing the certain collective wisdom of Congress. Wherefore, the ad cautelum motion for reconsideration of the decision dated 15 February 2011 is denied with finality. On 28 June 2011 the Supreme Court directed the Clerk of Court to issue the entry of judgment on the cityhood case of 16 municipalities. Demographics Economy El Salvador hosts several companies, plants and factories west of Misamis Oriental. These are Asia Brewery, Tandwai Rum, Virgin Cola Bottling Plant, Visayas and Mindanao Region Distributor, Highland Fresh Daily Products, Monarch Equipment, the AOSO, Zest O Corporation, WL Foods Corporation, Universal Rabina Corporation and Union Plywood Corporation. With regards to financial institutions, Rural Bank of El Salvador and lending institutions such as FICO, Oro Coop, M. Lulier and others are accessible at office hours in this place. Attractions Divine Mercy Shrine, Misamis Oriental, located in the Divine Mercy Hills, PSB Yulalaman which is overlooking Macajalar Bay. The shrine has a 50-foot statue of the Divine Mercy Christ, the biggest in Asia. It serves as a pilgrimage site for the Divine Mercy devotees. As a pilgrimage and sacred site, visitors are not allowed to wear shorts and other revealing clothing. Those who do so will be forced to cover themselves with a blue cloth provided by the shrine administrators. Burias Island, located just a few kilometers off the coast of Molugan or about 3 kilometers west of the town of Opol. El Salvador Night Café and Market, is set up on Friday night at Barangay Poblacion. 
Tagnipa aunts and visitors gather to have barbecue, enjoy the live band music, beer, and also the great bargains from the nearby night market Our Lady of Snows Parish Church, newly constructed church located within the city. Abaga and Sikiap Falls, located in Barangay San Francisco de Asis. Tag Ilas Falls, located in Barangay Hinigdon. Tuburan Spring, located in both Barangays Taytay and Poblacion. House of Pasalubong, located in Zone 2, Brigi. Poblacion Culture Feast Day, August 5, Our Lady of Snows, August 16, Saint Rock, aka San Roque, Charter Day, June 27, Infrastructure Transportation El Salvador City can be reached via plane through Laguindingan Airport, then about less than 10 minutes bus ride east. Like any other place the National Highway snakes through it. Visitors and locals can go around the city by just hailing at Sikid Sikid, or motorboat, jeepneys, or motorcycles to the outlying barangays. Communication PLDT and MISORTEL are among the major phone lines, also transmitters or cell sites for all major telecom providers like Globe, Smart and Sun Cellular are serviceable in this city. Internet access is also available. Internet cafes can be found in various places in within the city. Broadband service is also available. Education Private Schools, St. Joseph Academy of El Salvador Miraculous Metal Academy The New El Salvador Colleges Steluli Mary I School Public Schools, Elementary El Salvador City Central School Moros Elementary School Bolasong Elementary School Pedro Sa. Baculio Elementary School San Francisco de Asis Elementary School Cogon Elementary School Hamaya Elementary School Hinigdon Elementary School Calabaylabay Elementary School Molugan Central School Kibanban Elementary School Sambulawan Elementary School Sinaloc Elementary School Taytay Elementary School Yulalaman Elementary School Secondary Cogon National High School Hinigdon National High School Molugan National High School Government Offices National Office Agricultural Training Institute ATI, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH, 2nd Deo Misamis Oriental. Located in Tabulig Street, Poblacion, El Salvador City Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, PAG ASA, located in Molugan, El Salvador City Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, BJMP, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Philippine National Police, PNP, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Department of Interior and Local Government, DILG, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City City Criminal Investigation and Detection Group CIDG, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Bureau of Internal Revenue, Beer, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Commission on Election, Comelec, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City Department of Agrarian Reform, DAR, located in Zone 1, Poblacion, El Salvador City. References External links Official website of the City Government of El Salvador Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System